is going to be a great day. I am Nikki G, your host, and welcome to The Lone Doctrine. I am your weekly dose of constructive food for thought. Before we keep digging into the subject of expectancy, I wanted to take a moment and remind you of this. What might work for me may not work for you. Everything we discuss here at The Lone Doctrine isn't an absolute form. There's no should or should not. It's a gathering of knowledge to remain open and to realize you always have a choice. Use this knowledge as you wish. You make the choice. And those choices are none of my business nor anyone else's on how you wish to proceed. I hope having you here will begin to consistently open your mind on other ways of looking at what's going on in your life and in the world. I respect your personal journey. That being said, let's get back to the idea of expectancy. We have surface affirmations. We have detailed affirmations. We can gain tools that keep us moving forward. We can address our why and we can continue to have faith. But as more time ticks by, I have found myself in feeling somewhat victimized. Have you ever been there? Like everything is happening against you? Let me read this quote by Tony Robbins. Life happens not to me, but for me. When I first heard this quote, it definitely made me think, what does that mean? If I reflect back on every adversity I've ever been through, although I wouldn't wish most on anyone, it's made me stronger and it's given me purpose. What's happened to me happened for me. In fact, if I didn't truly understand this very concept, you probably wouldn't be hearing me right now. I've taken my losses, my adversities, and I've given them a purpose. Now you might be thinking, what does this have to do with expectancy? One of the keys towards success is learning how to use pain and even pleasure instead of it using you. If you learn this concept, you'll gain more control in your life instead of feeling as if life is controlling you. If you feel like life is controlling you, Having any state of expectancy will always be working against you because deep down, you'll have a belief that you have no control. I can guess a lot of you may be playing devil's advocate with me right now and thinking we can't control everything and part of the beauty in life is letting go of the plan so we can truly experience what awaits us. Yes and yes. It's all the above. We control more of our life than we realize. And although you might have detailed expectancies, you also must stay open to the unimaginable. In doing so, you'll receive more than you could, well, ever imagine. Life and we are consistently changing biologically, universally, spiritually, however you define those aspects. The biggest and one of the most important questions to ask is this. What's your story? What is your blueprint? If they don't match, you're setting yourself up for a lot of waste of energy, emotions, and circumstances. If we have a grasp on our blueprint, what's deep inside, then it's just a matter of consistent progress. We as humans are built to consistently progress. So this talk of stories and blueprints is expanded from one of the most fascinating and progressive persons of our time, Tony Robbins. And I have a little assignment for you. Watch the video, Create a New Story by Tony Robbins. One of the biggest reasons why I'm so passionate about this avenue in life, the avenue of self-betterment, is because of others who are also passionate and their willingness to share. There's so much knowledge to gain from so many people. 
before us, during our time, with us, and even the children of our world. All we have to do is listen, commit, and take action. Some things may or may not resonate with you, but remember, the world is filled with a vast spectrum of options. The choice is ultimately yours. Today and every day, keep fighting the good fight. It's a great day.